Mysterious land of volcanoes, brown bears and wild salmon, a world natural heritage, one of Russia's distinct wonders, Kamchatka. For many it remains a dream, as few have had the chance to experience its magnificent beauty and vitality. The Kamchatka Peninsula is situated in the Russia Far East between Ahotsk Sea on the west and the Bering Sea on the east, nine time zones away from Russia's capital city. The size of Sweden, it is populated with less than 350,000 people. Due to its previous isolation, low population density, few roads, small and dispersed settlements, and little large-scale development, much of the peninsula still possesses intact globally important biodiversity. The significance of Kamchatka's biological diversity is measured not so much by species richness as it is by the species endemism, presence of numerous rare species and ecosystem processes, such as volcanic and geothermal. The world-famous Valley of Geysers in the heart of the Kronotsky State Biosphere Reserve was discovered by a Russian geologist, Tatiana Ustinova, in 1941. A two-square-kilometer geyser field is one of the largest in the world where one can witness living geological processes, breathing earth, boiling hot springs, emerging lakes. Kamchatka is of outstanding beauty. Um, it, it, is, it is breathtaking. Sometimes you ask yourself if you can take so much beauty in you. Approximately 16,000 Kamchatka brown bears, the second largest subspecies in the world, are found throughout the peninsula. The peninsula is also the center of distribution for the largest eagle in the world, the rare Stellar's sea eagle. Approximately 1,800 endangered northern sea lions live along its coast, as does the only population of sea otters in the western Pacific. Walrus and five species of seal found in the North Pacific are in abundance along the peninsula's coastline and on surrounding islands along with numerous seabird colonies. The peninsula possesses some of the world's greatest diversity of salmon, trout, and char, all species of Pacific salmon representing one-third of the entire Pacific population spawn in the Kamchatka rivers. Kamchatka Protected Area System comprises over 27% of the Kamchatka territory. An unprecedented level of poaching has become a curse for Kamchatka's unique biodiversity within and outside of protected areas. Well-organized commercial poaching brigands and illegal trophy hunters target bears, snow sheep, reindeer, and marine animals. The lucrative traditional medicines market entices poachers into protected areas in search of animals and their valuable organs, such as bear gallbladders. Highly organized poaching of salmonids for their caviar is likely the most pressing and significant problem. This is considered to be the most significant threat to Kamchatka biodiversity and to indigenous communities limiting their options for traditional livelihoods. A large international conservation program led by UNDP was launched in Kamchatka in 2002. Supported by the United Nations, the Global Environment Facility, Canadian government and the Moore Foundation. A wild salmon conservation initiative focused on sustainable fishery practices, establishment of salmonid protected areas, biodiversity friendly hatcheries, anti-poaching measures, and ecological education. A seven-year Kamchatka protected areas project delivered a solid investment into infrastructure, enforcement abilities, tourism facilities, skills and environmental awareness to boost management effectiveness of the federal and regional protected areas. The project supported interagency anti-poaching brigades by bringing together police and representatives of various resource management agencies. By 2009, this approach began yielding results, evident in a reduction of poaching incidences and in a better reporting of violations. In 1998, UNDP, together with the regional government of Camp Shotka, started to explore the opportunities to work together. And in 2003, started two projects, one salmon project and one uh, for the protected areas. We are now in the protected areas. Uh, we can also see uh, the value of uh, working in these areas from two perspectives. One is uh, the, the protected areas and the environment itself, but also uh, that it is valuable for the communities to have these areas. These areas are obviously the main resource um, 
at the end of the day, income shotka also for the population, for tourism, for uh, opportunities. However, enforcement alone cannot change the destructive activities of the local people outside protected areas. Another project component, a microcrediting facility, turned out to be an effective solution. With the support from the Canadian Development Agency and the GEF, a small and medium enterprises support fund, Sadrujesfo, was established and gained a solid reputation in the region. It delivers services including finance, training and business advice to local entrepreneurs. Наш фонд работает с малыми предпринимателями любого уровня. То есть для нас не имеет значения, насколько мал ваш бизнес или сколько лет непосредственно вам как предпринимателю, 20 или 60. Мы работаем с любой категорией предпринимателей. The funds are invested in biodiversity friendly income generating projects. A share of the credit revenues is channeled to the Kamchatka Protected Area through the Kamchatka Protected Areas Association, another organization established with project support. Thus, this microcrediting mechanism supplies sustainable, low-risk investment in biodiversity, revenue generation for the Kamchatka protected areas, and accessible financing for local entrepreneurs. UNDP is a development agency that is also one of the largest sources of uh, finance, of technical assistance for environment, because we believe that development and environment are intimately linked. And one of our uh, focus areas is protected areas. The, uh, in the field of biodiversity, we concentrate mostly on unleashing the economic potential of protected areas for local po uh, population and mainstreaming biodiversity into productive systems. Protected areas for us, it's not only about the, the preservation of iconic species, it's also about the development of uh, the local economy. In 2010, International Year of Biodiversity, UNDP and GEF launched another conservation project in Kamchatka centered around the Commander Island Biosphere Reserve and focusing on marine and coastal biodiversity. We are starting now a new project which is on marine protected areas and this is the first one in Europe and CIS. So as such has an amazing importance, it's of critical importance for all the other countries to learn more about the management of protected areas for the fisheries and uh, uh, for economic development. A partnership between the Russian government and the international conservation community to preserve the unique Kamchatka biodiversity has been extended for another five years.